Hey, my name is Swale, and I'm an engineering student from McMaster University. McMaster University, like most other engineering schools, offers a first-year CAD course, a computer-aided design course. Now, for those of you that don't know, CAD software, CAD 3D modeling software, is software that allows you to design stuff, whether it's a car or uh, a case for your Raspberry Pi. You've probably heard of some common CAD software applications like Autodesk Inventor, SolidWorks, Solid Edge. Well, at McMaster University, the students really enjoy the CAD course because they have assignments where they get to 3D model all these neat mechanisms and devices. Now, the teaching assistants, on the other hand, don't enjoy the course as much because they have to mark these assignments. And the marking process to grade these assignments is not only incredibly tedious, but also extremely boring. To manually grade one of these CAD assignments, a teaching assistant would have to download the student's CAD file and then download the appropriate answer file and visually compare the two. And after noticing any differences or mistakes, they would have to enter in the appropriate grade in a spreadsheet and email the student with feedback. Now, this process is extremely long. And also, because there is a subjective component on the TA's behalf, it can vary from TA to TA. We can have inconsistent grading in our course. Now, this job right here of grading assignments, that's 60% of the TA's workload. And the TA's themselves say they enjoy this aspect of the job the least because it's really boring and unnecessarily long, especially if they use school computers, which lag every five minutes. So about one year ago, we looked into this and we started looking into how we could reorganize the TA duties and also automate the boring aspects of their jobs in a way that would make Al Swigert proud. So the first thing we looked into was the Autodesk Inventor software application, which is the CAD application that the students use to CAD stuff. And the default file type for Autodesk Inventor, or one of the default file types, is IPT. And Inventor is so nice that they offer an API to analyze this IPT. Unfortunately, that API only works for C++, so we were like, ah, nope, not working with that. And we looked into the STL file type instead. Now, STL does not stand for standard triangle language, but it really should, because what an STL does is it takes a normal CAD file and it polygonizes the shape. It represents the shape entirely from polygons, from STLs. It represents the shape only as triangles. And of course, uh, with code, we can very easily convert this list of triangles into a list of triangles, or a, in this case, a 3D matrix. Uh, the first layer of the matrix is each of the triangles in the mesh. The second layer is each of the vertices in each of the triangles. And the third layer is each of the x, y, z coordinates for each of the vertices. And then once we have this, it's very simple. We can just take this uh, 3D matrix of the student's file and take the 3D matrix of the answer CAD file and compare the two. We can look at the properties of each one. And based on how similar they are, uh, we can assign a grade appropriately. Now, I myself, I'm not good at linear algebra, as my first year prof can tell you. But fortunately, with NumPy, we can very easily perform these calculations and make all the math simple. So once we have the software application on our hand, what we can do very easily is make wrap it up in a nice UE that automatically uploads the files. Now, using the software application, we can automatically send the files to a one source that automatically gives out a grade. OK, so here's the application to upload the files. And we, we move the teaching assistant's position from that of directly marking each assignment they see a bunch of rows. And each row represents a student's assignment. And they can click on the rows one by one. And by clicking on it, they can see the student file and the answer file side by side. Now, this file has already been marked by the software. And the TA can just review the marking, make sure that the marking makes sense. And as they're going through the files, you can see some of them are flagged, flagged red. And this means that the student did especially bad. They made a big mistake that made them lose a lot of marks. So with the software, the TA can recognize which students need the most help and spend more time on them. 
They can also send e the, email, the email feedback to the student from this source as well. So all the components to mark the assignment are in one place. Now, when the teaching assistants found out that 60% of their job had been significantly automated, they were intrigued by this new development. But in actuality, we didn't end up cutting the TA hours because this job, like with, so, like with most other jobs, the situation is always that there's so much work that the employees could be doing, but they can't get to because there's not enough time. So what we did was we automated a big component of their job marking these assignments, but then you move the teaching assistants to different tasks. Now they, can now they can spend more time assisting students and helping them with their homework. And further on, we gave the students a version of the software to check to see if they're doing their homework assignments correctly. So when they're done their homework, they can grade it. And instead of troubling a TA to check if they did their homework correctly, they can just check on the software. That way, the TA can focus on the students that need the most help. And the overarching theme of this project was that Time is precious, as I'm sure we can all agree. And we should always try to focus on automating the least important and most trivial aspects of our job so we can focus on the fun things of our job, like attending PyCon 2018. All right. Thank you very much for your time. You can find me here.